Hey guys, it's Z here back with another tutorial and I hope you all are doing great. So guys, today I'll be teaching you how I did this 3D cube in CapCut. It's quite easy. This is gonna be a quick and short tutorial. So let's begin. All right guys, first of all here, as you can see, as soon as I open my CapCut, I have this clip here right now. So I'll be using this. Now what you guys have to do is that first of all, make your clip, give it a zoom in, zoom out or whatever you guys want to add there. Then for this 3D cube, just simply export a still frame from your clip that this frame should be on the cube. So I just exported that still frame from here. Now what you have to do is import that still frame here on your timeline and add it once again because the 3D cube is actually a transition. So after adding both of these, go to transitions and search a transition called cubic dance. Just add it here. And as you can see, after applying it here, you have the 3D cube, but if it is glitching, that's because of the ratio, just change the ratio to one, one, and then crop your image also in the ratio of one, one, just like this, both of the images. And now here you can see that our cube is done and you can also just mirror up the second image. So it will give it a mirror look. If you guys want to do anything else like that, you can try it out, but I'll just keep it like that. And you can also adjust the duration of your transition depends upon you. I just only needed this one. So I just simply compound flipped it and split it at the part where the transition is starting. And then at the ending, I split it where it's completely rotating back to the normal ratio. So I did that. And here now I'll just simply switch back to my original ratio, which I was using. Now you can see that our 3D cube is done. All you need to do is that just simply stretch it and adjust its length according to whatever beats you want. I want it for two beats. So I just load it down and give it optical flow. That will work. Now here, as you can see, I can give it a zoom out after adding a background. So I just adjusted my background that I just added here. And now I can simply add a few keyframes to this and our 3D cube will be done. I simply gave it two keyframes, one at the starting, one at the ending. At the starting, I just gave it a zoom in so that it zooms out just like this. And I gave it some simple graphs. You guys can use it in any other way you want. I'm just showing a quick example. So I gave it a zoom out. Now to give it shadow, just simply copy paste it and then go to the adjustment and make all the curves go all the way down just like this. Then just simply compound clip this and give it blur. And here, as you can see, you can also add the shadow like this and our 3D cube is legit done. Now you can use it in any other way you want. I just simply give it zoom out you guys can do the character transition or anything else depends upon you so that's it i hope you guys understood this tutorial this was quick and short one see you guys in another video till then bye bye